Father, Pastor W.F. Kumui. You are welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Today, I said today, your mountain will roll away in Jesus' name. Even if God has to do it one stone at a time. It's going. What are you? My mountain is going. The Lord will touch you miraculously tonight in Jesus' name. That's a mighty connection coming upon your life right now. And wherever you are, you are here or you're over there in your district or in your region or in your state or in any nation or you are connected online connection for you today power connection supernatural connection today is that day your mountain is going my mountain is going father we thank you tonight we well, bless your name. We know that there is no time to waste. Lord, instantaneously, supernaturally, and immediately we mention that great name, the name Jesus. Mountains will roll away in Jesus' name. I pray that nobody will be disconnected. Everyone here, everyone over there, everyone everywhere, connection tonight supernatural connection tonight and you touch everyone and you give us miracles that are definite salvation definite healing definite deliverance definite and lord will pray a spectacular touch for everyone tonight confirm each in every life in Jesus' name we pray. For instantaneous miracle. Father, amen for instantaneous miracle. We are coming to the word of God. And tonight there's going to be a supernatural touch in the divine connection. When we talk of connection, connection is connection with God. It's Connection with your Savior, connection with your healer, connection with your deliverer, connection comes upon your life tonight, and a miracle and explosion will take place in your heart. We're looking at Genesis chapter 32, and I'm reading from verse 24. Genesis chapter 32, and we're reading from verse 24, and Jacob was, and we're reading from verse 24, and Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And then in verse 25, and when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched, he touched. That's what is going to happen tonight. I said that's what is happening tonight. He touched the hollow of his tie. And the hollow of Jacob's tie was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And then in verse 26 it says, And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let you go, except you bless me. You didn't say that for yourself. I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. You came from heaven, you are connected with me, and you are touching me, and I need the blessing you know, after the torch, and you will not go back to heaven unless you drop a miracle in my life. If that's what you are saying tonight, that's what will happen. If that is what you expect tonight, that is what will happen. I will not let you go. We are not leaving here except you bless me. Blessing of salvation in Jesus' name. Blessing of healing in Jesus' name. And blessing of deliverance in your life in Jesus' name. That spectacular thing you need and you came and you have been thinking about it, you have been praying about it, tonight is that night. And the Lord will not leave you until that thing is done. Look at verse 27. It says, and he said unto him, what is thy name? 
the Lord will talk to you personally. He will recognize your name personally. He will recognize your problem and all the things that are covered and all the things have been battling with in the case of Jacob. He's been battling with this for about 20 years. And that night when God sent the angel and the angel touched him, 20 years problem rolled away. 20 years problem in your life rolling away tonight. 30 years problem in your life rolling away tonight. And how long it might have been, uh, that mountain has been there. And people tell you, I just, I just live with that mountain. There's nothing you can do. Maybe there's nothing you can do, but God can do something. And God will do that thing. Uh, 40 years, a mountain will move away tonight in Jesus' name. What is thy name? What is your problem? What is your challenge? What are you going through? And he said, Jacob, he didn't talk much. All he wanted and all he was looking for is, I want a miracle tonight. Tonight, you are not talking much. Tonight, you are not, you know, talking to another person. What did they say? What reference did they quote? And uh, what is going on there? What do you see over there? You are not talking with anybody. You are face to face with the miracle worker tonight in Jesus' name. And then in verse 28, it says, and he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. He will change your name. It will change your nature. It will change your personality. It will change everything that has been traumatic in your life, problematic in your life, anything that has bowed you down, anything you've been wondering, how do I go through life with this tonight, tonight? Somebody help me shout tonight. All those things that had bothered you, everything will vanish away. People will see you tomorrow, they will not recognize you. They will see you next week, they will not recognize you. Because of what is happening tonight in your life. And then it says, thy name is no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a priest, as a priest, you are not a pauper anymore. And you are not an orphan anymore. As a priest, thou hast power with God and with men and has prevailed. I have prevailed. I have overcome because of the power of God and because of the instantaneous miracle the Lord is going to do in your life. You have power with God. Give me a good amen. You have power with men, no matter what that man, who that man is. You have power with all men. And tonight, you prevail in Jesus' name. Tonight, we are talking on the subject of the supernatural touch in divine connection. The supernatural touch in divine connection. Three things we're looking at. Number one, in number one, the heart transforming touch. You see, the Lord is going to touch you from the inside to the outside. It's going to touch every part of you. There's going to be a miracle of recreation in your life today. I said a miracle of recreation in your life today. Everything that is bad will become good. Everything that is rotten will come alive. Everything that is dark will be brightening tonight. Everything that bows you down, everything that it appears from your inner mind and from your heart is like the problem is there. And because of that, out of the heart comes all the issues of life. And since the heart is bad, what do you think every other thing will be bad? But point number one tonight, the heart transforming touch. Are you there? It's for you. Say it's for me. Number two, the healing transcending touch. The transcending touch. That is, whatever the problem Whatever the sickness, whatever the infirmity, and whatever the disease may be, there is a transcending touch. It will reach you at the point of that sickness. You are healed tonight in Jesus' name. Number three is the heavenly transfiguring touch. Transfiguring touch. Let me break that word down for you. Transfigure. 
figure. You have a figure. That figure is weak. That weak figure is oppressed. That figure is downtrodden. And then there is a trance. There is a translation. There is a change. And there is a mighty transfiguring tonight. The Lord will take you to the Mount of Transfiguration as we are praying. By the time we open our eyes, you are a different man. You are a different woman. Because of that heavenly transfiguring touch that is coming upon your life tonight, in Jesus' name. Tonight, there is no go and come. Tonight, there is, may, there is no maybe or perhaps. Tonight, that touch will come to you directly and it will transform, it will transcend, and it will transfigure everything in your life, even tonight, in Jesus' name. I rejoice with you already. You have a testimony. I said I rejoice with you already. You have a testimony. I have a testimony. I have a testimony. And it's not going to be like, you know, a little testimony. I had, uh, you know, rashes on my cheek. And then God has transformed me. That, that's good, that's good. But the testimony we have tonight, and the one that is going to come out of your mouth, look at this big mountain in your life. It is rolled away in Jesus' name. Let's look at number one. Number one, the heart transforming touch. The heart transforming touch. We're looking at 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 26. Here was a man, his name Saul, and he had lost his three asses. He was looking for asses. Pay attention. The Lord gave him a throne. I said he was looking for asses, and the Lord gave him a throne. Compare three asses with being the king of the whole of Israel, of a nation, the gap is wide. What you are looking for, what you are searching for, that's a small thing. God is going to multiply that tenfold, twentyfold, a hundredfold, and the Lord will surprise you with a miracle. Let's look at this in 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 26. And Saul also went home to Gibeah. And there went with him a band of men whose hearts God had touched. Whose hearts God had touched. Do you know God touches people's hearts? And as we are there tonight, it will touch and transform. I said it will touch and transform. It will so change you in the inner man and so change your heart and so change your mind. Everything that had been weak and powerless before, everything will be powerful and mighty tonight, even in your heart, in Jesus' name. Understand a bunch of men, not just all alone, and not just one person, two people, three people, a bunch of men. Many of them, as they came, the Lord touched their hearts. And as we have come tonight, anywhere you are, I said, as we have come tonight, a transforming touch in your heart. I said, a transforming touch in your life. It will happen. The moment you come to God and say, God, here I am, I need a touch, a divine touch in my heart, a divine touch in my inner man. I've not been able to walk straight, I've not been able to live straight because of the condition of my heart, but I want to live straight and I want to live a positive life and a powerful life. And the Lord said, all right, I'll do it for you now. What is the person I'm talking about? He will do it for you now. And then he will touch that heart and you are never the same again. Actually, even now, he has started the work in your heart. I said he has started the work in your heart. And when we finish the message and we say, if you want to give that heart to the Lord Jesus Christ, for him to touch, for him to transform, just raising up your hand, the work is done. 
the transformation is done and a real heart and a beautiful heart and a heavenly heart the Lord will give to you tonight in Jesus name look at this in Ezekiel chapter 36 Ezekiel chapter 36 I'm reading from verse 25 he said then will I speak of clean water upon you God said he himself will do this one he will not even delegate it to an angel like he did for Jacob himself by his own power himself by his own redemption himself by his own mighty power it will wash you tonight it will place your heart tonight in jesus name then will i sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean and ye shall be clean if god washes anything that thing will be clean if god cleanses any heart that heart will be clean if your heart no matter how you have been out of control you couldn't control your heart you couldn't control your mind you couldn't control your personality but then god says don't worry control has come cleansing has come because he himself will touch you and he says you shall be clean and from all your filthiness and from all your idols will i cleanse you look at verse 27 it says 26 rather verse 26 in your heart also will i give you are you waiting for that are you expecting that i said are you expecting that expectation manifestation expectation realization it will happen you'll be surprised the lord will give you a new heart tonight in jesus name you know the heart that is always down the heart that is now upright will be given to you the heart that is always discouraged I don't know what I will do again. I don't know where I will go again. God will give you a heart that has boldness and courage. And you will face the future. And what God has created you for, your heart will move you on, move you on. You will reach there in Jesus' name. A new heart also will I give you. And a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart. That makes us stumble the stony heart that is hard the stony heart that is not changing the stony heart no matter how many surfaces stony heart uh, you know at test the stone is always a stone but a stone is going away today you remember god will move my mountain i said god will move my mountain if he has to do it a stone at a time he will do it i rejoice with you you are in the right place tonight and you are in the right mood tonight because just now is going to remove that stone and a new heart he will give you he says he will give you a heart of flesh it will give you a heart of flesh. Are you there tonight? I said tonight, God cannot fail, and God has never failed. In your case, it will not fail tonight. But now, look at Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 23, and I'm reading from verse 26. Proverbs chapter 23, and we're looking at verse 26. My son, Give me thine heart. I want to walk on that heart. Give me thine heart. I want to cleanse that heart. Give me thine heart. I want to transform that heart. Give me thine heart. And I want to make a permanent change so that that mind and that heart will be clean, will be pure. That heart will be positive and that heart will be so encouraged and bold and will be able to achieve anything and everything. And all you have to do is surrender that heart to the Lord. My son, give me thine heart and let thine eyes observe my my ways and then once you give him your heart and you hand it over to him the rest is for god to do and it's tonight 
I said this tonight. It will do that miracle of transformation in your heart tonight. In Jesus' name, guilt will go away. Grace will come into your heart. Condemnation will go away. I said condemnation will go away. And the joy of the salvation of the Lord will occupy your heart tonight. In Jesus' name. We're coming to point number two now. Point number two is the trans is the transcending touch, the healing transcending touch. Healing. Somebody help me shout. Healing. healing. If you have never seen healing before, you'll see it tonight. If you have never seen, I mean spectacular healing. I mean supernatural healing. I mean a kind of healing you know, that nobody can ever doubt. They will see it in your life and they will see it in your body. The Lord is going to give you a transcending touch that will heal you tonight and heal you perfectly and heal you permanently and that thing will never come back again. We're coming to uh, in Matthew chapter 8 and we're reading from verse 1. Matthew chapter 8 and we're reading from verse 1. When he was come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. Look at verse 2. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt... Thou canst make me clean. And look at what the leper said. If thou wilt, he wasn't sure of the willingness of God. He wasn't sure of the willingness of Christ. He thought it was far behind the line. He thought as a leper, he was not allowed to mix with the congregation. He was like a, a person that he didn't know any promise of God. He didn't know any performance that to come his way. And he said, here am I. I'm an outcast. Here am I. I don't know whether you're willing or not. If thou be willing, thou canst make me clean. I know you can. Only I'm not sure you're willing. But we are sure God is willing. I said, I am sure that God is willing. Why am I sure? Because he said, I am the Lord that healed thee. That's why we're sure that he's willing. Why are we sure? It, it, he said, call upon me and I will answer you. And I will show you great things that you have never known. That's why we know he's willing. Why are we sure that he's willing? By his stripes, I am healed. And since he has suffered for us, and he took our sickness away, he took our infirmity away, and he took all our disease away, bless the Lord, oh my soul, bless the Lord, all that you see within me, who forgives all thine iniquities. All your iniquities will be forgiven tonight. And then that healeth, who healeth all thine infirmities, and then it will renew your yoke like that of the eagle. Because of that, I don't come like the leper. I said you don't come like the leper. You come like with the promise of God. Ask, it shall be given unto you. I'm talking about you there. Seek, and you shall find. I'm talking about somebody there. And knock, and the door shall be open to you tonight. Hear this, hear this, hear this. Everyone that asketh, receiveth. He that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be. It shall be. So we're not like the leper that is coming uh, with fear and coming uh, with doubt and coming with slight of belief, saying, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean, uh, the Lord is willing. Look at verse 3, look at verse 3. Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, uh, and touched him, uh, somebody there, and touched him, uh, he will touch you. I said they will touch you, saying, I will. That forever settles the question. He said, I will. Tonight, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. He said, I will at that time. He's saying, I will now to you. It's no respect of persons. He said, I will to that leper. And he's saying, I will to you. 
Maybe your own is not leprosy. If it is brain problem, all that is cleared away tonight. If it is goiter, all that is cleared away tonight. And if it is cancer, praise the Lord, that cancer will not be stronger than the name of Jesus in your life. The name of Jesus will roll that cancer away tonight in Jesus' name. If it is something you have been battling with, you have gone to the hospital, and the hospital said, uh, uh, Mr. Man or Madam, uh, this one is beyond us, it is not beyond God. I said it is not beyond God. The Lord who has healed the leper, who cleansed the leper, who was not even shown, and his prayer was full of doubt, yet the Lord healed him tonight. We're praying a prayer of faith, a prayer of power, a prayer that is able to move every mountain away in your life. And as we're praying that prayer tonight, miracle, healing, deliverance, the spectacular will happen in your life tonight in Jesus' name. I will be thou clean. Look at this and immediately. Help me pronounce that word. Say it, say it, say it. Immediately. When is your miracle? I say, when is your miracle? Immediately, instantaneously, at this very time, as we mentioned the name of Jesus, that name above every name, that name above every name of sickness, the Lord will roll that thing away tonight in Jesus' name. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Look at Mark chapter 5, verse 25. Mark chapter 5. We're reading from verse 25. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. Don't worry about how many years. 12 years, 20 years, 30 years. Is still the same and whatever however long that infirmity or that sickness or that disease might have been and whatever the cause in your life whatever brought you into your life don't worry about that number of years don't worry about that a single touch will take everything away it says a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years then in verse 26 and had suffered many things of many physicians she had gone to different places where she expected healing and had spent all that she had and was no, nothing better but rather grew worse nothing better but rather grow worse but you know what i appreciate about the woman the woman did not say the shameful disease is taking a long time let me end it up there are many people before their daybreak and before the time of their breakthrough they get discouraged and then they end it up you will not end it up where there's hope there's life where there's hope there'll be healing where there's faith there'll be miracle and so don't end up anything your life is in the hands of the lord no matter how the problem has remained how long it has been today solution has now come i said solution has now come and look at verse 27 in verse 27 she said she uh, when she heard of jesus have you heard about jesus i said have you heard of jesus in all these testimonies we heard, we heard of Jesus. In all these messages were given, we heard of Jesus. In the healing of the leper, we heard of Jesus. And we've heard that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. She heard, and you have heard. What you have heard will bear fruit in your life. What you have heard will bring healing in your life. What you have heard will bring a spectacular, spontaneous miracle in your life tonight in Jesus' name. When she heard of Jesus came in the press behind and touched his garment. And touched his garment. He touches you 
when you touch him and tonight as you touch him by faith and you know he died for me he took my sin away he took my sicknesses away and by faith i touch him tonight from heaven he will touch you in verse 28 it says for she said if i may but touch his clothes i shall be whole i shall be whole she was coming and every step of the way i shall be whole and every time when uh, you know this sin have been there for 12 years don't worry i shall be whole and then they said somebody else had this kind of problem and ever got over it for me i shall be whole somebody there i shall be whole a man there, I shall be whole. A woman there, tell me, tell me, I shall be whole. Every one of us tonight will be whole in Jesus' name. Look at verse 29. In verse 29, and straightway, that's the word again. That means immediately. That means instantaneously. And straightway, the fountain of her blood was dried up. Dried up all the fountain of the devil in your life dried up all the fountain of disease dried up all the fountain of infirmity dried up all the thing that is so deep and so wide that nobody can treat and nobody can cross dried up tonight in jesus name and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague 12 years of shame all gone 12 years of suffering all gone 12 years of sickness all gone it's gone tonight to the sea of god's forgetfulness all your problems are gone tonight in jesus name look at chapter 7 mark chapter 7 and i'm reading from verse 32 mark chapter 7 we're reading from verse 32 it says and they bring unto him one that was dead and had an impediment in his speech and they beseech him to put his hand upon him look at verse 33 in verse 33 and he took him aside from the multitude and put his fingers into his ears and speech and touched his tongue and touched his tongue have you noticed all, this, all these references I'm reading to you? They brought this one, he touched him. And they brought this other one, she touched him. And as they were touching and touching, every touch had a transcendent miracle and healing came. And as the touching is coming to you tonight, your miracle has come. And then look at verse 34. It says, and looking up to heaven, he sighed and says unto him, Ephesus, that is, be opened. Not a long prayer, not a long sentence, be opened. And when you hear that tonight, short and straightforward prayer, that miracle will touch you right there. And then in verse 35, and straightway, that's the word again. That word is in the territory of the Lord Jesus Christ. Immediately, instantaneously, straightway, his ears were open. And, and the string of his tongue was loosed and he speak plain. If you are deaf and dumb, you will hear you speak tonight. If your bones are broken, those bones are joined together instantaneously today. As we mentioned, the name of Jesus and a touch comes to you in Jesus' name. Look at verse 37. 37. And they were beyond measure astonished. Some of them, uh, they didn't know what to do, whether to clap, whether to shout, whether to laugh, whether to jump, whether to dance or whatever, because they were beyond measure, as Tony saying, he has done all things well. He has done all things well. 
I'm talking about you. He has done all things well. I'm talking about your wife. He has done all things well. I'm talking about your husband. He has done all things well. I'm talking about that person in the hospital. And your mind is with that person in the hospital. He has done all things well. I'm talking about your child. That child, your, your sins you gave back to the child. Three years now, four years now, the child cannot stand up and walk. But Christ tonight has done all things well. Children will receive miracle. Young people will receive miracle. Papas and mamas will receive miracle. And newcomers will receive miracle. Everyone here tonight, no exception. Anyone over there tonight, it is Jesus. And Jesus is able and he has done all things well. What are you? All things well all things well because he maketh both the dead to hear and the dumb to speak it will happen it is happening already look at number three we're looking at number three here and this is the heavenly transfiguring touch heavenly transfiguring touch as the lord touches you tonight people will not even recognize that you're still the same problem because many years of problems are the Lord touches you tonight, it will roll away everything. 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 It will do it in Jesus' name. Let's come back to the story of uh, Jacob. It says in Genesis chapter 32. Genesis 32. And I'm reading from verse 24. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. Wrestling, wrestling, wrestling until the breaking of the day. And then in verse 25, and when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of, his, of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. Wrestling, you know, there are people they wrestle and wrestle in prayer, but the blessing has not come, and they are happy to say, You know, I can stay there for six hours and wrestle in prayer. Well, that's good, but you know, what you need beyond that wrestling is faith the faith that takes, the faith that touches, the faith that transforms. The faith that empowers and the faith that transfigures you. Wrestling, wrestling, wrestling is not enough. It's the power of faith to walk in your life. You know, some people say, I pray for five days for salvation and I wrestle and wrestle. Maybe that's all right, but are you saved? Being saved is what's important. And salvation is very simple. You don't have to go five days, seven days, and 14 days before salvation comes. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right here, right there, instantaneous salvation will come to you in Jesus' name. And then it says... The hollow of the tie went out of joint as he wrestled with him. Look at verse 26. In verse 26, and he said, Let me go. That's where some people stop after they have wrestled and wrestled and wrestled. No salvation, no healing. They just sweat and sweat and sweat in praying. Let me go. They said, Okay, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow. You are not like that. I said, You are not like that. Tomorrow a greater thing will happen, but today you have an immediate salvation today. An immediate forgiveness here today. An immediate conversion here today. An immediate transformation that transcends anything you have ever known. It is here today. I will get. I will get. See how you are saying it as if you are not sure. It says, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I, Jacob, I, what's your name? I, what's your name? I, so and so, will not let you go. That blessing you brought from heaven, you must give me tonight. 
that blessing you brought from God, you must give me tonight. That miracle, that supernatural touch, and that transcending touch, and that transfiguring touch, and that change that comes from heaven, I must have it tonight. Let me go. No, you cannot go because you will not go except you bless me. Except you bless me. The Lord loves the people that know what they're looking for and they know they're going to get it and there's no shadow of doubt in their heart and they say tonight is my night I will have. You will have. I said you will have. And then in verse 27 it says and it said unto him was thy name? Well, in the past your name sinner but now your name is going to change. He'll call you a saint. I said he'll call you a saint. You know some people, they say Saint Peter, me too, saint. They say Saint Paul, me too, saint. They say Saint Mary, me too, saint. Me. I said me. He will change your name today. No more guilt. No more condemnation. No more bondage. Freedom. 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 You're free tonight in Jesus' name. Look at verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall be no more called Jacob, but Israel. And I prophesy to your life tonight, your name shall no more be called sinner, but saint. And I'm pronouncing the word of God upon your life tonight. Your life will no more be called failure, but success. I pronounce it upon your life tonight. Your name is no more Mr. Mrs. Downtrodden. But your name becomes the man on the mountaintop. The woman on the mountaintop. For as a prince look at that look at that when you stand up tonight after the lord has changed you and transformed you then you stand up as a prince i'm talking to somebody as a prince as a prince it says as a prince as thou power with god power with God there is a connection now Jesus is making the connection on your behalf and you have power with God and you have power with men and no man will walk over you no man will stand in your way no man will disorganize your life and no man will ruin your life anymore. The moment you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And you say here is my heart. Here is my life. I offer everything to you. He will take you and mold you and remold you. And then there is connection. I say there is connection. And then you have power with God. Anything you ask God because you have power with God. He will answer you. And you have power with me. All the people, all the places you have been going, you ask for this, they say no. You ask for that, they say no. And you say, hey, nobody ever says yes to me. But you know, tonight, you have power with me. They will say yes to you. I said they will say yes to you. And thou hast prevailed. Thou hast overcome. Thou hast conquered. Anybody there that claims this? Why don't you stand up? Why don't you stand up and know that tonight is a special night in your life? Tonight is a glorious night in your life. You will prevail. You will conquer. You will overcome. There is nothing. Nothing from hell. Nothing from the sea. Nothing from the forest. Nothing from land can disturb you tonight. Can hinder you tonight. You will prevail tonight. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. And say, Lord, I present my heart to you. 
I present my life unto you. I present the past. And no matter how dirty that life has been, and no matter how destroyed that life had been, how conquered that life had been, how sick that life had been, my son, give me your heart. My daughter, give me your heart. You give him your heart tonight, and then forgiveness will come. Freedom will come. You will prevail. Power will come. And then you'll be given the power to become a child of God, a son of God, a daughter of God. It's there. It's there. It's there. Christ is very close to you. It's your Savior. It's your Redeemer. Christ is very close to you. He will turn your heart around. It will change your heart. It will transform your heart. And tonight, the Spirit of God will bear witness. Your sins are forgiven. And all the load, all the guilt, all the condemnation of sin, they are totally taken away. Amen. Let the church say, now we're making the connection. Are you ready? Yeah. I said we're making the connection. Are you ready? Yeah. He wants to clean up that heart. He wants to forgive all your sins. He wants to change. He wants to transform. He wants to take the old life away, the old heart away. And he wants to give you a new heart. And it's just for the asking. You don't have to wait and wait and wait. It's yours for the asking. If you ask, he'll give you. You seek, you'll find. You knock, it will be opened unto you. It's bowed and eyes closed. You're giving your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ right now. He'll wash you. He'll cleanse you. He'll forgive you. He'll transform that heart. If you're giving your heart to the Lord right now for him to make a transforming touch, just raise up that hand. God bless you there. Just raise up that hand. God bless you there. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. He's going to do it immediately. He's going to do it instantaneously. He's going to do it right now. The moment you call upon him, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Turn away from your sin. Say, Lord, I'm sorry for the past. I'm sorry for my disappointing you. Lord, I come now. I come now. That's why I'm raising up my hand. Forgive me. He will. He will. He will. Immediately. God bless you for raising up the hand. Tell him now, Lord, I belong to you now. Only you, I belong to you alone. I don't belong to Satan anymore. I don't belong to evil doers anymore. I belong to you completely. Transform my heart. Change my heart. Give salvation to my heart. Thank him that he has done it. He never rejects anyone that calls upon him sincerely tell him i thank you lord i've asked i've received and i know that you've done it i'll pray with you now father in jesus name all these who have offered surrendered and given their hearts to you oh lord forgive them in jesus name according to your promise Take all their sins away and put all their sins in the sea of God's forgetfulness, never to be remembered against them anymore in Jesus' name. Take their guilt away, take their condemnation away, and take their weakness away. And I pray, Lord, definite forgiveness, you grant them now. Freedom from sin, you grant unto them right now. Let your grace come into their lives and make them new men, new women, new boys, and new girls having the salvation of the Lord in their hearts right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know it's done. 
I know it's done. We believe it's done. In Jesus' name, we pray. Praise the Lord, he has done it. I said, praise the Lord, he has done it. He has taken those your sins away. He has forgiven you. He has given you freedom. And you will never be the same again. Our counselors are there. They'll give you the slip to fill in uh, all the information so that we can follow up on you later and see how to be of help to you more and more. Our uh, state pastor will come now and lead us in this section. And now after that, immediate healing, miracle, deliverance, dominion in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's counseling time, and while that goes on, let's all maintain the spirit of prayers and let's be expectant. Miracle, great, great demonstration of the power of God is coming your way tonight. Uh, please, all who indicate giving their life to Christ, please get the attention of the ushers around you and the counselors around you. Let's. Uh, let us have the details. Collect the sleep, fill in the details. Let's have the details so we can be of more help to you. We want to know about how to contact you and be of more spiritual help to you after this program. So please collect the sleep from our counselors. Fill in all the details correctly and legibly so that we can contact you thereafter, hereafter, and be of more help to you. If you are online, please click on the link that is provided and fill in the form online and submit online. And by the grace of God, our counselors will be reaching you. Online audience, please do the same thing now as uh, the indicator giving your life to Christ. Fill in the details, click, click the link and fill in the details and submit online. We'll be in touch with you. Let's be very fast about it. The rest of us, let's maintain the spirit of prayer. Praying and expecting. Praying and believing. Praying. And soon, you'll be receiving. And as we are getting through in the various uh, floors, ground floor, first gallery, second gallery, please, you quickly indicate so we can pro proceed. If you indicated giving your life to Christ and there is no counselor attending to you now, please raise up your hand. And in all our various churches, in all the locations, let's quickly do likewise. The counselor should attend to the brethren that indicate giving their life to Christ. Attend to them quickly so that we can get the details of their forms and get ready for the next stage, the outpouring of the miracle power of God. Get ready. Online, please, if you are connecting to us from any part of the world, Asia, Europe, Australia, other parts of Africa, North America, South America, everywhere, every part in the world, connected to this program please check the link that is there online fill the form there and submit online and by the grace of God we'll be in touch with you we'll be of more spiritual help to you the Lord knows you he loves you he's connecting with you he wants to bless you and bless you more and more so, fill in the details required, and God will use his servant and our brethren to be of more spiritual help to you. Let's be fast about it, all the counselors. If you are finished in your section, look at the other section where they are still on. Quickly join, assist in the other section where we have more people. If you are finished, don't go and sit down until all other sections are finished.
try and identify other sections that have not finished and assist there until we are done with your floor before you take your seat. Until when your floor is done before you go back to your seat. If you have not been attended to, please indicate. Raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. Call the attention of the counselors that are going around. You have given your life to Christ. Tonight you are receiving the touch, the miracle touch of God to save your soul, to transform your life. Raise up your hand. And the sleep will be given to you, which you feel. If you have not been given such a sleep, please raise up your hand. Call the attention of the counselors. Quickly, let's, uh, or the supervisors, let's hurry up. Let's finish in good time. Counselors, let's hurry up. All the if, rest of us, let's keep on praying. Ground floor completed. Middle floor, first gallery. First gallery. Second gallery. Second gallery. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Counselors in the first floor, you can take your seat and keep on praying. The ground floor. First gallery, let's hurry up. And the second gallery. Second gallery completed. God bless you. We are waiting for the first gallery. First gallery, let's hurry up. It's canceling time. Let's keep on praying. Every one of us online or physically present in the various uh, places of congregation, keep on praying, keep on expecting the miracle touch of God, the miracle power of God. You will have the touch of God tonight. You will receive your miracle tonight. First gallery, we're waiting for you. Let's be fast. If you have finished your section, please join the others that are yet to finish. First gallery. Thank you. It's miracle time. Miracle time. Rise on your feet. Expect the touch of God. Expect the miracle of God. Praise the Lord. Your time has come. Whatever challenge, whatever sickness, whatever disease, remember that word immediately. When is your miracle? Whatever it is, just raise up your hand. The Lord will meet you at your point of need right there. He never fails. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He touched other people. He's doing it for other people. He will do it for you. Are you ready? 
Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for all your people, everyone in here, everyone out there, everyone, everywhere connected with this program. I pray, Lord, instantaneously right now. Touch them in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, any part of the body that infirmity may be, I pray you touch them right now. Swelling, go away in Jesus' name. Broken bones, be joined together in Jesus' name. Those who are paralyzed, hands withered, legs withered, having stroke, be healed in Jesus' name. You are deaf, you are dumb, I pray the power of God will touch you right now. Those deaf ears, be opened in Jesus' name. Dumb tongues, be loosed in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have incredible disease or like cancer. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Ulcer, be healed in Jesus' name. And here, come out in Jesus' name. Respiratory problem, I pray you take and you take charge now. Take it away in Jesus' name. Those who have a SS, sickle cell problem, AS problem, and, and they are suffering because of that, touch them now and heal them. Make a change. Make a transformation. Let the power of God come down from heaven on everybody right now. Be healed, be made whole in Jesus' name. I pray that that instantaneous miracle supernatural miracle extraordinary miracle healing deliverance dominion freedom take place in every life right now confirmation in every life manifestation in every life the performance of the power of god in every life right now lord as we open our eyes we'll discover it is done Confirm it, Lord, in every life. In Jesus' name we pray. A bigger amen. Miracle touch, amen. Don't sit down yet. Check yourself. Just check up now. What you couldn't do before, do it. Move the hand. If you brought somebody that is dead or dumb, speak to him, speak to her now. Those who couldn't see before, just open your eyes and look at us here. You can see now because the touch of God is there. The miracle power of God is there. That anemia is gone. That sickle cell is gone. That arthritis is gone. The pain in the leg and the back and the eye in the head, all the pains, all the ears, gone. Amen. Now it's testimony time. It's testimony time. Shout hallelujah. You can see jubilation on that side. Praise the Lord. Just put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. The miracle is already taking place. God is working. God is working. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Just check up. Check up. Check up and come out and give your testimony. Just come to all five here. Come to the front of all five. Our counselors are there. Our leaders will be there to attend to you. Check yourself. Check yourself as you see the touch of God, the manifestation of the miracle in your body. Come quickly to Hall 5. You come here and meet our leaders. They will interview you to give your testimony. Don't go yet. It's testimony time. The program is not over. After testimony, we are going to round up with closing prayer. So stay back. The buses are not going yet until we are done. Come quickly if you have a testimony and let our counselors begin to interview them and line them up, get them ready. Online, spotlight, let's get ready also. In all locations, in Asia, in Africa, in America, North and South, Australia and Europe, wherever you are, get ready, get ready for spotlighting or to send your testimony online. Send your testimony online through the social media handles that are 
being displayed on the screen. You will see the one that you can utilize to send either the text or a video recording or you will be able to testify online, real time, whichever be the case. Get ready. We want to begin to listen to the testimony. Come out quickly. We are waiting for you. The Lord is waiting for you. You must give glory to God for what he has done. Be grateful to God for the miracle he has done in your life, in your body. You must not be ashamed. You must not be ashamed of testifying of the goodness of the Lord, of the greatness of the Lord, of the power of the Lord in your life. Don't be ashamed. You must come out to testify. You want to clap, feel free to clap. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. The miracle power of God has touched you. Miracle power of God has touched you. It's touching people and it's touching you there. Touching you there. Come out and give your testimony. Come out and give your testimony. We want to know what God has done. We want to rejoice with you and we want to celebrate the miracle of God in your life. We want to rejoice. We want to praise the name of the Lord. Let's get them ready. And one after the other, we'll start the testimony. Media section, get ready also as the online testimonies come. And let's get the, you can say the, the crutch up. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Let her come out here. Lead her out here to give a testimony. We want to know what God has done. Yes, quickly check yourself. God has started working. God is working miracle. God is the God of miracle. His power has been released. The man of God has prayed and the power of God has been released. Believe. Believe. Don't just sit down there. Check up. See what the Lord has done. Come out and you give your testimony. Online, get ready. Online, spotlight in the various location. Get ready. Let our leaders in the various congregations, in the various nations, interview the testifiers and get them ready. Tonight, we want to hear from various countries, from various continents, in Africa, or Europe, Australia, North America, South America, Asia, wherever you are. We want to know what God has done. This is a global miracle session. This is a global testimony session. The global power of our God is working in all the nations. And we will want to know what God has done. The miracle of God. The miracle power of God. Want to clap, clap. Be free to clap. Put your hands together for Jesus. Miracle, miracle, miracle. Let's get them ready. Our leaders at the testimony section. Let's get ready. We want to start now. Media department, media section. I hope you are also ready there. Can we have the first testifier? First testifier. You tell us your name. You tell us where you come from and what God has, what the problem was, and what the Lord has done for you tonight. What the Lord has done in your life tonight. We want to know. Quickly. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Benjamin Azi. I am from Kubwa Region Hospitality Group, Nepa District. By the grace of God, I am saved. Uh, in January this year, I slept and I woke up in the morning to discover that I had a very serious pain on my left shoulder. And I have been believing God for this uh, pain to go. I have been praying and trusting God. But this night, when the man of God was praying, I lifted up my hands and after the last amen, the pain went. Before I could not roll this hand like this. But now I can do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The miracle power of God has touched him. The problem persisted from January to tonight. Tonight, 
God's power touch him. He's free, healed, delivered. Amen. The next testifier, tell us your name, what the challenge was, and what the Lord has done. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Sister Omo Idris. I am all the way from Nyanya, Maraba. I came to visit my mother-in-law. So a sister in Redeemed Church close to their house. She has been she has been inviting me to the program. I told her that the, I don't have faith that I will be healed. The only faith I have is that God will make a way for me to have money to go for surgery. I have been in this situation now since 2019. But glory be to God as our papa was releasing this time pressing. I received my miracle. I cannot walk before all the way from that side to this side alone. I give God the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. I think you can see the miracle is obvious. She was working with a crutch there, but now the Lord has healed her and she is free. From 2019, 2019, the problem had been there, but now gone. Instead of using the crutch, now she's carrying the crutch without having to use the crutch. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. See her walking. See her walking. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. She wanted to go for surgery. The Lord himself has done it. The Lord has done the surgery. No more surgery. No more surgery. Praise the Lord. Yes, it's celebration time because the power of God is at work. Check yourself. Whatever miracle you desire, the Lord has already done it. Step out in faith. Jump up in faith and come and give your testimony. Yes, the next testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Faith Anyaun. I want to give God the glory. Yesterday, I was sitting at work early in the morning and I began to feel a very sharp pain. The pain started from my back to my chest. I couldn't move. It said small, small, but when I got home, I couldn't do anything. In short, I couldn't even bet myself. My husband had to bet me. I couldn't bend. Any little bend I do, I must shout. Any movement, I must shout. I couldn't use my hand. But when I came here and I was just mentioning divine connection, I said I'm not going to go back here with my problem. And I told God that when if I if this pain disappears, I know that every other thing, every other challenge I have is gone. And I want to praise the name of the Lord. When they, after the man of God prayed, I had to go outside. I had to go and shake myself. I said I need to know what's happening. I touched my hand. I can't move my hand. I want to appreciate God. May His name be praised in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That was an arresting pain that wouldn't allow her to do anything without agony, without pain. Tonight, the mighty power of God with the divine connection, the Lord did it. She is free. You see her, check, check, her shaking herself, checking, and it, the whole thing is gone. God did it. Praise the Lord. Tonight, expect your own. If you are still there, don't go back home. With any challenge that may be there, you may receive the miracle and come out and testify. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Okoro Esther. I want to thank God for my life. By the grace of God, I'm saved. As of 2017, I was having the issue of tuberculosis. God healed me of tuberculosis. Though I was admitted in the hospital undergoing treatment, but through one of the Bible studies, it was a divine connection. Through one of the Bible studies, my mom was in Abuja. I was in Kanu State, admitted in the hospital. I don't know what was going on. I wasn't even listening to the message that I, because I was undergoing treatment in Kanu Hospital. But through that uh, Monday Bible study, after the man of God prayed, he mentioned my case, and I got my healing, divine connection. I also want to thank God for yesterday, day before yesterday, I was having this serious pain in my leg, and. I, due to one training I had, so I, I, I've never experienced that kind of pain before. So yesterday when I was at the program in my district, the pain was so severe that I tried my best. I just keep on forcing myself to stand. I said I will stand. 
Anyhow, the pain wants to be, I must stand. And then when I was going home, after the prayer of the man of God yesterday, I was going home. Though the pain did not, it reduced a little, but it did not go. But I said, if I sleep this night, that was yesterday night, I want to wake up, I don't want to feel this pain again. And glory to be to God, I slept and I woke up and I didn't feel the pain again. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! God the healer, touch her, deliver her from tuberculosis, deliver her from excruciating pain, free, free indeed. Go and enjoy your miracle in Jesus' name. Amen. The next testifier, media crew, media section, get ready. We want to have some spotlighting and uh, also online testimony. After this one, we'll switch over before we come down again. Please, quickly, next one. Praise the Lord. My name is one for, one for David. My name is one for David. I want, I want to thank God for concerning my salvation. Um, for several months now, I've been having this, several, um, this severe pain in my chest. After the man of God prayed concerning um, healing, for now I can't really find it anymore again. Thank God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So long long standing problem pain in the chest the lord has done it for him and this great god that did it for him is doing yours also in jesus name amen and amen let's move on to the uh, media section we want to hear some testimonies we have a testimony from cross river states and then there are testimonies from port harcourt river states sokoto and orozo we begin with Cross River States. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Rita Evelyn James. I'm living at the number 16 a By God's grace, I am saved. And, and I was very sick since on Tuesday. We are very tired. I cannot even eat. I cannot even stand. I cannot feel it. Let's have the next testimony. Media crew. Media section. Other testimonies coming from Port Harcourt will be on very shortly. Other testimonies coming from the social media reads as follows. A sister Abba from Solid Rock in Lube region had not been able to walk. The husband has just sent in a message that his wife, after the prayer of the man of God, can now walk and is now okay. Put Praise the Lord. For Jesus. From Brother Ankpa Philip, Dauda District in Guma region, Benue State. Over 10 years knee pain, gone during the program. The man of God's prayer has totally taken away heartburn, slight forehead headache, and a divine connection has taken place. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Emmanuel Antonia, since this morning, says she's been having headache. But after the prayer of the man of God, that headache disappeared. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brother Solomon from Mina, Niger State, said before the crusade, he's been having pain in the chest. By the end of the message, the pain was totally gone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. David Lao Tang from Myanmar said, he has been restored to the Lord and he's saved and back to the Lord Jesus Christ. 
after the prayer for salvation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brother Abel said he had been having very strong headache. But after daddy prayed, the healing, as he wrote, was instantaneous. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Are we ready here? The next testifier here. I hope Portacard is getting ready. Please tell us your name, where you come from, and what the Lord has done Praise for you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Ike Wani Florence. I came from Bazango Group. Bazango district of Kubwa, Kubwa region. I want to, uh, by the grace of God, I'm saved. I want to testify what God did for me today. Having come, I was feeling very problem in my head. The head was there aching me. It has persisted for many years now which has not allowed me to do my work in the church of God as I should. Praise the Lord. I don't even know how we managed to come here, but by God's grace, when he left me, I joined the bus that brought me here, and I really thank God. I have received my miracle. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I Praise and the, the miracle Lord. is permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Long, long standing affliction, pains, gone, gone forever in Jesus' name. That's what divine connection does. That's what the touch of heaven does. The Lord touched her, saved her, and set her free. And for everyone online and all over the places, wherever we are connecting, believe God for your own miracle. The Lord will glorify his name in your life. Portacot is now ready. Let's have Portacot. And I discovered that something left me. 
and I was very strong. And I was very strong. And that is what God has done for me. I said his name may not be glorified. His heart is not a barrier. No matter what problem, when time and certain time come, God will roll it away. Amen. 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 Our relative got healed yesterday and today she got her own healing from arthritis. The miracle power of God touched her, delivered her, set her free, and that power is at work. And if you are still expecting a miracle, whether you are here or you are online in any part of the world, believe the God of miracle that is doing it for others, he will do your own also as well in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Yes, quickly, the next one here. Tell us your name, where you come from, what the challenge was, and what God has done. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. If I live without testifying, I'll be an ungrateful child. My name is Matt Ayala. I come from Kubwa region, Guardian Angel District. By the grace of God, I'm saved. 2018, I was taken out of Abuja to another state to work. And in the process of that, I contacted severe asthma. In the middle of the night, I will have to call my pastor, a regional overseer, my a group pastor, because it's as if my breath wants to cease. I'll be in the hospital. I couldn't do without this inhaler. I've been battling with asthma. I can't do it. At times, it will be difficult for me to breathe. It will be as if I'm about to breathe my last breath. And people around me know what I've been passing through. Throughout last year, I couldn't attend weekly activity because of the issue I had. Once I come out, but by the grace of God, last, during, in April, um, program that GS came, I took my, because I was, happened to be with the youth choir, I had to be with them. And in that period, I told God, I said, you must heal me. I cannot be laboring on other children without getting my blessing. And by the grace of God, after that program, the asthma has gone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Secondly, I've been battling with sleeping. I've been having sleeping issue. I can't sleep. I find it difficult to sleep in the night. It's like my morning. And as God we have it, still during that last program, I discovered when we finished with the youth in Deeper Life High School, I would go back home feeling tired and I would sleep off. I thought it was just for a short time. But by the grace of God, once it's night now, I sleep like a baby. I no longer have issue with sleeping. That's why I've come to return all the glory to Jesus that has done it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Double miracle. Sokoto is standing Asma by. gone and sleeping disorder gone. Let's move on to Sokoto now. Spotlight. Sokoto is standing by. Let's move on to Sokoto now. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I want to thank God for his healing upon my life. On the 4th of June, I was coming back from work and I had an accident. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I've been having waist pain and I've been limping my left foot. But yesterday, when I came here, I was still limping when I came here. And I told God, please, Lord, heal me. I've been taking so many medication. And at the time, I had to stop because it, it was not going, and the medications were becoming too much. By the grace of God, yesterday when I went home, I was able to bend. For a long time, I've not been able to bend, to touch my feet. Even if when something, I can't pick it up. But today, by the grace of God, the limping is gone, the back pain is gone. I say, may the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Heal. No more limping, no more pain, affliction that came from accident, effect on her, disappear. The mighty God has done it. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. The God of miracles at work. 
here and other states, other nations, power. We'll be hearing more testimonies some other time. We'll round up here. we we'll give God the glory for what he has done. The Lord God of miracles has glorified his name. Tomorrow, remember, the program is starting at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Only tomorrow. The other days will continue at 5.30. But tomorrow, 4 p.m. Make sure you are punctual if you are to be here or if you are to be there in your district, in your group. And all our brethren connecting online, Nigerian time, West African time, 4 p.m. That is the starting time. And you should please connect with us and stay through to the end of this program. And the mighty God of heaven will connect you with your blessing. Connect you to your miracle. Connect you with all your heart desire. You will be blessed abundantly. Your joy shall be full in Jesus' name. Let's rise up now and give God the glory for what the Lord has done. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord for the soul saved. Praise the Lord for the people healed, for the people delivered. Praise the name of the Lord. Worship the Lord. If you are online, join us in praising the Lord. From various parts of the world, join us in praising the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Magnify his name for the great things he has done, for the miracle he has wrought. Magnify the Lord. Glorify his name. Our God is good. And let's pray for the man of God. The Lord has been using. The Lord will renew him. More strength, more anointing, more power. More grace, more anointing, more power through him to minister unto everyone in a greater measure. Pray for him. And let's pray for all participants, physical, virtual, online, or in various locations, that the power of God will touch everyone. God will prepare us for the remaining days to receive all our needed miracles. Let's thank God for answering our prayers. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Almighty God, once again, we give you glory. We give you praise. We worship, honor, and adore you for all the souls you have saved, for all the people that you have restored back to yourself. Thank you for all the people you have healed and for all that you have delivered 